Hey YouTube people, I am back. I've uh, been taking care of house remodeling, things of that nature, but uh, I'm back here. I got a couple videos, I'm ready to get going. Um, it's been a little over a year now, and so far I'm still absolutely loving the truck. A lot of people have asked me questions as far as, you know, am I still liking it? Have there been any new issues? anything like that that's come up so I'm gonna go over some of those things but you know at the end of the day I, I really do like this truck and I want I want to make sure everyone understands that because sometimes people can get a little confused on what I'm uh, saying they interpret it a different way but uh, I'm just gonna kind of jump into it and it's almost gonna be like a dislikes video but just some of the things that I noticed along the way of uh, owning this truck for over a year um, it's run fine. I currently have 12,000 miles on it. I think about 2,500 of that came from basically just home shopping, out out shopping. I mean, we, we were grinding. So uh, I'm a little upset about that, but whatever. I don't drive that much, so it's okay. Um, so I'll, like, I'll just start, I'll, I'll go ahead and start off with uh, some of the things that I've noticed since I've started. Um, one day after leaving Lowe's, I turned the car on and it just made a really loud clicking noise, like click, 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 but really loud. And I know some of these 5.7s kind of have a little small click, but it was, I mean, it's one of those things to where everyone stops what they're doing and turn around and say, oh, that thing's about to explode or something. not sure why it did that it did it for probably about five to ten minutes uh, service people couldn't replicate it so we don't know what's going on with that maybe there's a matter of time and it's just gonna explode I don't know but I haven't been able to duplicate that um, I've been having kind of the tailgate the same issue I'm having with the tailgate I close the tailgate and it'll show that basically right here that the tailgate's still open and all the sensors are saying that it's open but it's closed so it's almost to a point now where i'm having to use an unreasonable amount of force to close it and sometimes it still shows open so that's a little that's it's kind of starting to get on my nerves a little bit um i guess probably one of my biggest things well, maybe two of my biggest issues that I've had so far would be the AC. Uh, it's it's not that good, man. So if if you're if you really like AC, I don't know if this is gonna be the vehicle for you. It gets the job done, but the AC, it, it's a night and day difference from other vehicles. I'll definitely say that. And when you're buying a newer vehicle, especially you know one of this caliper and price, you those are kind of the small things that you just expect to be there. And to be there working to, as expected. Um, does it cool off? Yes, but you know who has good good AC? I mean, some people say it's about to explode, but Chevy. Chevy makes cars, trucks, SUVs. Their AC blows. I mean, it's it's good AC. I mean, it gets Arctic tundra up in in their cars. I mean, my buddy's old '92 Chevy Cavalier blows. AC gets way colder than this truck could ever in, in its best days get um, just a lot of I really like how Chevy does their AC but this AC is just nah this ain't for the south I'll tell you that uh, let me go ahead and get off that because it's more of a rant now um, and then probably one of my biggest issues probably is this center console this 12 inch screen the 12 inch screen itself works fine I don't have any issues with the screen itself my issues are the the interface i guess what's programmed in it or lack thereof um navigation for example in my durango or any other vehicle if there's like a major 12 car pile up accident or just it, it's moving slow it'll show or alert me in any other vehicle that i've been in hey there's traffic here in red it'll show you know red or green or something here 
that's not happening. It's just showing me blue and green the whole way. Everything's perfect, rainbows and strawberries, but in all actuality, there's a major accident that's been there for the last 30 minutes and ain't going nowhere for the next hour or two. It's really frustrating. I know it's not the end of the world, guys, but I have expectations for for stuff like this. You know, you buy it, you want it to do what it's supposed to do. All my settings are correct. Um, talking to these these people online, the Uconnect people, it's like talking to the wall. I'm at times I think I know more than them. These these updates that they push out every what? I think two came out last year, I believe. I have no clue what they did. I called them, asked them about it. They have no clue what they did. It's so frustrating dealing with these people. The navigation, you know, is subpar. You know, I don't like the navigation. Uh, it's it's already outdated. It was outdated when I got the truck, I feel like. But uh, just really want... The, this system, I wish they would put out a good update, a nice refresh. That's what I would really like to happen. Um, my radio stations, at, at will, they just disappear. I mean, look, I got to reset them again. Same thing with satellite radio. They just... Poof, bye. I don't know what's causing that. Um, but these are just little knickknacks that, that bothered, have bothered me over the year. Can I live with it 100%? I still love this truck, guys. But, uh, yes, like I said, I'm back. Uh, I'll be putting out more videos. I'll try and put a link, link to my Facebook page at the bottom if you want to email me or, or message me things. You're more than welcome to. Here, let me get a little walk around. Everybody can see that the truck is still very much in one piece. I mean, it's not as clean as it usually is, but there's that dash cam. I'll try and put out some dash cam videos to these idiots that we share the road with. I guess that wasn't nice, but it's the truth. Still here in one piece. Still getting, having people talk to me about it and approaching me and making comments every day. And I love it. My wife says I like my truck more than her. Love you, babe. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Hopefully it wasn't too much of a rant, but like I said, 12,000 miles, a little over a year later, still going strong, love it. I'd buy it again tomorrow if I had, if uh, the opportunity presented itself. So. Anyways, guys, y'all take it easy. See you on the next one.